Hey guys, welcome back to Satya's Inwards. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I built my very first vivarium. So yeah, let's roll the intro and let's get right into it. So my vivarium is basically uh, 15 inches in length, about 12 inches wide and 12 inches tall. So to start I will first clean off the base and the side. I am using rubbing alcohol to get rid of any debris that will prevent adhesion of the silicone to the glass surface. I have decided to connect the sides first because uh, the length of the back is equivalent to the uh, length of the base that is about 15 inches plus the width of the glass as, at both the sides so that is like 4 plus 4 8 mm so the uh, length of the back is 15 inches plus 8 mm so I will connect the base first to both the sides and then I'll connect the uh, back side so after clearing the surface with rubbing alcohol I am basically measuring out uh, at how, at what distance I should put a masking tape you can use any tape I'm just going to use cello tape because that's what I have at the moment what this will do is it will basically prevent the silicone from spreading everywhere and create clean seams so I will put this uh, cello tape layer at both the base and the side at the point where I am going to apply the silicone so the next step is to basically apply a nice continuous bead of silicone along the edges. So this is what I am doing. First I am applying the silicone at the side because uh, the base will connect uh, at the side and the sides are basically at the exterior of the base. So this will ensure that I get to uh, use the entirety of the 15 inch and 12 inch uh, space that is located at the base after that I will move the side uh, towards the wall because the wall is completely 90 degree and it will ensure straight joints and then I will place the base on top of the silicone bead layer to ensure pro uh, proper connection I almost messed up here but yeah I managed to somehow save it and after that I will again uh, apply a bead of silicone along the uh, connecting point and I will basically clean it off using my finger so this will ensure nice tight connection now as you can see I will remove the cello tape and it will give me a nice clean finish after that I have placed a heavy it's basically a bottle not a bottle it's a jar filled with a lot of water so, uh, I'm basically placing something heavy along the base and the side so that it does not move too much one eternity later now I will repeat the exact same process to connect the other side one eternity later so after letting the sides cure for about 12 hours on each on each side i basically placed the tank such that 
I am able to apply the silicone on the edges of the two sides and on the edge of the base. After this, I will basically just place the back side on top of the applied silicone and just clean off all the seams. Now I had to climb on top of the table because my dog was sleeping right next to me, <laughs> next to me, and I did not really want to disturb my dog. So yeah. Now I will secure the back using some cello tape to hold it tightly and I will also place a place the heavy uh, jar of water on top so that there is a really tight bond formation between the silicon the sides and the glass One eternity later. Uh, after that, I turned the uh, tank on its back, and then I cleaned the front side off because I wanted to put the substrate barrier up first before I worked on the uh, the door and the top ventilation side and stuff. So I just used rubbing alcohol to to clean the surface and a, a blade to basically get rid of any excess silicone. so that there is proper connection between the new silicon bead that i apply and the substrate barrier the substrate barrier is about 4 uh, inches in height so that should uh, permit adequate amount of substrate that is needed for my tarantula so here i am basically marking from where i have to start the silicon bead
one eternity later so the next step i basically moved on to the top of the vivarium i am connecting these uh, pieces of glass that are about there that are 15 inches in length and 1 inch in width uh, i will connect one piece at the back side and then i'll leave around 4 inches of gap and then i'll connect another piece the gap in between will be about 15 inches by 4 inches and that will be used to connect the ventilation grill here i am placing the sliding door part to measure out from where the second uh, uh, piece of glass will begin so that i don't really mess around and the glass uh, segments are placed in the correct position one eternity later so after the top i decided to connect hinges to the front of the vivarium to connect the door so it's a very straight forward process i left around 1 inch gap at both the sides and then i connected the hinge i'm using stainless steel hinges i wasn't able to find acrylic hinges but then there's i've read that uh, it's difficult to connect acrylic hinges with glass using silicone So for now I'll just use these stainless steel hinges and later on if I find a better method I'll it's always easy to get rid of these hinges and place new hinges so it's not a big problem After placing the hinges the next step is to connect the magnet I connected using Fevicwick or super glue silicone will not do the trick in this case So yeah, use something stronger. For some reason the next part of the video got corrupted. So it's not that complicated. I just um cut and paste some plastic guiders and the ventilation grill. So it's just pasting using silicone so it's not really complicated. So guys, this was my first terrarium built. If you like this video, click on the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video next week we will probably set this enclosure up and transform my tarantula so yeah look forward to that video see ya